Hello, and welcome to Registry Partners, November 2024, Oncology Coding Break, Unusual Treatments Commonly Overlooked. The objective of today's recording is to define treatment, define other therapy, review unusual treatments and coding for thyroid, myeloproliferative neoplasms, essential thrombocythemia, and polycythemia vera, and review long-term treatment and class of case. Let's look at thyroid and hormone replacement. Removal of the thyroid gland, thyroidectomy, causes the body to no longer make the thyroid hormone it needs. Thyroid hormone pills are prescribed to replace the natural hormones the thyroid would normally produce. These hormone pills suppresses the production of thyroid stimulating hormone from the pituitary gland. Lowering the production of thyroid stimulating hormone may slow the growth of thyroid cancer cells, and these are often prescribed for life. They are commonly used in patients with papillary follicular carcinomas or one of their variants. On the right hand side is a list of thyroid oral hormone replacement medications as found in CRRX. Levothyroxine and Synthroid are the most common hormone replacement medication prescribed. As you can see from the list, there are multiple uh, hormone replacement medications listed here. So you do want to look for that information. Just as a tip, search the EMR for the most common oral hormone replacement medications. Now let's look at thyroid and classic case. Here we have a patient who has been prescribed hormone replacement therapy for their life. They went to hospital A in 2005 and had a uh, total thyroidectomy. After the total thyroidectomy, the patient's endocrinologist uh, prescribed hormone replacement therapy. Fast forward to 2024, the patient presents to the endocrinologist at Hospital B for transfer of care. The endocrinologist at Hospital B resumes the care of the patient and prescribes hormone replacement therapy. The hormone replacement therapy prescribed was the same as that that was prescribed when the patient was first diagnosed in 2005 as part of the patient's first course of treatment. And follow-up indicates the patient continues to take the prescribed therapy. So what is the classic case for facility B? This will be a classic case 21. Reporting facility Hospital B participated in part first course treatment when the patient transferred care and continued the management of the hormone replacement therapy. Store 2024, page 48, first course of treatment states, the first course of treatment includes all methods of treatment recorded in the treatment plan and administered to the patient before disease progression or recurrence. Now let's look at other therapy. Other therapy identifies treatment given that cannot be classified as surgery, radiation, or systemic therapy. Other therapy also captures complementary and alternative medicine used by the patient in conjunction with or in place of conventional therapy. Essential thrombocythemia, a type of myeloproliferative neoplasm, is characterized by clonal thrombocytosis or too many platelets. Essential thrombocythemia has an enhe enhanced risk of arterial and venous thrombosis. Low dose aspirin is often prescribed as a treatment for myeloproliferative neoplasm, essential thrombocythemia. This is coded as other therapy code 01 and only coded as therapy for essential thrombocythemia. Search the EMR for the word aspirin 
and check to be sure the dosing is 70 to 100 milligrams per day. Polycythemia vera, another type of myeloproliferative neoplasm, is characterized by an excess of red blood cells, and this is typically due to JAK2 mutations. Patients with polycythemia vera are often prescribed phlebotomy. Phlebotomy decreases blood volume and reduces the number of excess red blood cells. After a phlebot phlebotomy, the blood is thinner and less likely to cause sludging, which occurs when red blood cells build up along walls of blood vessels. Phlebotomies are coded as other therapy code 01 and only coded for polycythemia vera. See the SEER, Hematopoietic and Lymphoid Neoplasm Coding Manual, page 26. Also do an EMR search for the word phlebotomy. Here are my resources for today's coding break. Thank you, and thank you for joining the Registry Partners November 2024 Oncology Coding Break. I hope you have a great day.